brain tech yeah where tech is made simple so it could be just a couple of days before we start seeing the first and anniversary feature update for windows 11 version 22h2 start rolling out to the general public and as i have mentioned and posted previously and due to numerous reports in the media that could be as soon as the 20th of this month september which as we can see on the calendar is in just a couple of days time so that date is approaching very fast and very soon now it's also been suggested and um, as i have mentioned previously that the feature update could now be called the windows 11 2022 update although that name change and the official release date for the feature update has never yet been confirmed by microsoft although it is strongly suggested that they will start pushing the update out to the general public on the 20th of this month now as many of you will know the feature update will appear in this section on your windows update page as an optional update so it's not an automatic update it's an optional feature update and um, that means you don't have to install it if you don't want to so as an example you can leave that update sitting there for the next year and your device will be just fine and okay as long as you keep updating the um, get keep updating your device with the monthly cumulative updates but you can leave that update sitting there for as long as you want to before deciding to install the optional feature update now and microsoft also doesn't just push the update out to the general public all at once to all the devices they use a controlled staggered phased approach and there are many reasons for this so it's it's possible that you won't see the update on your device at first straight out of the gate so to speak when they do, do start rolling the update out to the general public now and um, just to go back here a little bit um microsoft has been uh, testing the feature update in the windows 11 insider program over the last couple of months as i have been updating you almost on a weekly basis but just to do a quick recap here um over on windows blogs looking at the latest news for the last couple of weeks yeah we can see on the 23rd of august last month they released the update to the release preview channel which was build 2261.457 now one thing we do know is that although microsoft have never has never confirmed the official name of the update or um the uh, release date one thing we do know is that build 2261 will be the official build for that feature update that will be made available and um that's also because as i have posted previously um i think it was on the 24th of may this was the build that they pushed out to their manufacturers release to manufacturing build which means that's uh, that means that microsoft pushes that out to manufacturers for them to start um, testing their hardware and their drivers as an example and then yeah we can see on the 24th the next day they made the feature update available to the beta channel insiders for testing and then last week on the 1st of september once again rolled out build 2261 to the beta channel um, for testing where a lot of bugs and improvements were made uh, to the feature update and to that operating system so microsoft is obviously trying to iron out a lot of the bugs and issues before they push the update out to the general public now um the update is not going to be a massive feature update like it was going from windows 10 to windows 11 where almost most of the aspects of the operating system were visually redesigned and um, it's just going to be um key areas of the operating system that's going to receive changes and just to mention um, a couple of those areas quickly the start menu we are expecting to see some changes uh, the taskbar will be getting some key changes the file explorer we're also going to see some changes and new options and settings and so on roll out and the task manager is another area um where we're going to see a dark theme and these um these uh options here at the top will be on the left hand side we're going to get accent colors a settings menu and so on and then there's also going to be some improvements for gaming and so on just to mention a couple of those changes quickly so um although it's not going to be a massive feature update there are going to be key areas of the operating system that are going to be updated and upgraded now um if you are fortunate enough to see the update um, roll out to your device and um, when it is released to the, to the general public at first you may not want to um, install the update straight away now i know it's very tempting it's a new feature update you know new features settings options and so on but you may just want to hold off um, for maybe a, a week or two or even a couple of weeks or even a month or two because um, it just gives time for everything to stabilize and just to kind of monitor the bugs and the issues now although microsoft as i mentioned has been testing the feature update um in the uh, the uh, windows 11 insider program um in my experience and as i have posted on this uh, channel 
um, with feature updates and updates. There are look there are issues that could make their way that make their way onto your device with the feature update. Um, there could be bugs. Um, there uh, could be boot issues. Um, there could be some of your apps failing to start. Driver issues with the feature update. Uh, the apt update may fail to install. Um, just to mention a couple of examples. So you may just want to wait a while if you are fortunate enough to see the update at first roll out to your device. And you may just want to give it a, a couple of weeks or even a month or so before you decide to install the update, just so those initial bugs can be ironed out by Microsoft. And also, uh, it's not a cumulative update. So the update will take a little bit longer um, to uh, install than a monthly cumulative update. So just be aware of that, that it could take um, up to an hour or even an hour or so, depending on your hardware and your device to be installed. So just take note of that. Now, one or two things um, you can do if you do decide to install the update um, at the get-go and at first, if you, are, if you do see the update appear on your device, is what I would suggest is if you do decide to install the update, is back up your system. So if you have videos, pictures, documents, music, and so on on your device, back that up. And then another thing I would suggest is just go to your search, uh, do a search for create a restore point, and uh, this will take you to the system properties. And if you have restore point, um, if, sorry, if you have uh, system protection turned on, uh, you can create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on, create that restore point, and um, you can always refer back to that and um, roll back your system to that that restore point if something does go wrong with the update. Maybe you've got issues, um, there's, there, there's um, apps failing to start, or just general bugs, as I mentioned earlier. Just do a restore point, and that can just give you a bit of a safety net. Not not in my experience, um, it's in some cases, doesn't solve all the problems, but is it's, it's, it's a good idea as a, as a backup system and as a safety net. Now, another reason you might not see the update appear when Microsoft does push it out to the general public at first is they have a thing called a safeguard hold or safeguard holds where they block the update from your system. And there could be a reason for that, a couple of reasons actually. You could have apps that aren't compatible or you could have an issue or a bug um, on your system and obviously uh, Microsoft want to roll things out as smooth as possible so they'll put a safeguard hold um, on your device until those issues are resolved and that could also be another reason why you won't see the update at first and at the get-go so to speak so just also be aware of that and then personally I'm going to install the update when it does roll out and um, if it doesn't get to my device through Windows Update I will be using the update assistant or the media creation tool to update and that's because for this channel and i know i have suggested maybe to wait but for the purposes of this channel because to keep you guys up to date and as to what's going on with the operating system i have to update so i will be updating as soon as the update becomes available but as mentioned i would suggest if you are an average home user maybe just hold on for a bit before the update you install the update if you are fortunate fortunate enough to get the update at first so i hope you found this useful and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.